Well, how do you there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and I'm up inside of the space station where we left off from last episode, people. What is that? Okay, well, we're on the phase four. Pilgrimage four. We're heading to Pilgrimage four. I've had a look through these tabs, well, these extra patches, and there's a load of freaking encrypted ones, mate. So I have no idea what's going on, but there's no sort of gather or do anything that I can see here. So we're just going to go for the Pilgrimage of number four. I guess we are. Awesome. So we've got to see the galactic map. Cool. Well, I think I've expanded all of my storage like we did at the end of last episode, so I think we're good to press on. Let's go, people in the view of us. Take on off and fly on out. Quick Boom. And we're on. You know what? Let's put on some music. Righto. Got it out. Oh, it's the Captain Steve song. Captain Steve? Oh, Captain Steve? Oh, Captain. Captain. Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, how do you do the things you do? And Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Okay. Well, where's the freaking rendezvous point, mate? Expedition route destination. Well, we're just going to go for it. We're freaking just going to go for it, mate, because I've got no other blanking yeah, option. I've selected that one. Why are you not giving me any write-up for that one? Com complete Pilgrimage 4. So I've got to complete Pilgrimage 4. All right, fine. We've, it's saying down here to use the blinking galactic map. I use the galactic map, and there is no markers on. Oh, hold on, hold on, on, on. Am I being silly? That's that. Uh, let's keep going this way. I didn't see the. There it is, all the way over there, people. It's just out of jump range. All right. Well, we we'll jump to there. It's a lot freaking further. It looks like Destination 4 is a lot freaking further, people, in the view of us. All right, fair enough. My bad. We're jumping again, like we did last summer, I guess. Wondered whether there might be some sort of weird sort of glitch going on there, people. Because, you know, it didn't show the green trails to go all the way over there before. I had to do a lot of jumps before this. I saw this one. So let's jump here, and then we've got to jump one more time, because it was just outside of my jump range. Just. All right. Do I need to refuel my um, warp drive? No, we've still got warp fuel. So let's just do it straight away then. And let's go one more time. Lovely jubbly. Boom. There we are. So it's just a lot more jumps, people. So don't worry. Just jump as far as you can. Your, your warp distance might not be as far as mine either. You might have to do a fair few freaking jumps. But there you go. It is there. Just keep with it. Just a bit of a shame it doesn't show you it further on, you know. Oh, okay. It's just one of those things, people. Maybe it was just me, but I found that a little bit confusing. Just as a word of warning, people. Right there, where we've arrived, located. Where's said destination? Eh? Let's see if we get the actual marker now. Lovely. There's quite a few bases in the system. I see base markers all over the freaking shop. I guess I do. All right, well, where are you? There it is. It's over there. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm excited to see what these encrypted ones are, people. If they're encrypted versions of what we've already seen before, talk to an autophage, do a math puzzle, and all that sort of shenanigans. Hmm, there's quite a lot of sort of fetchy sort of crests inside of this one. I didn't mind taking on those sentinels in the last episode. The cr anyway, 45 seconds. You know what? I'll take a little break. I'm going to have some tea. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well, we're heading down to... Ro oh, fudge and heck, it's locked onto a blinking base, isn't it? There was a mould farm there, though, and they're quite good for sort of getting yourself a shed load of nanites. All right, well, let's fly on down. Now, normally, when you see the first comms ball pop, that's usually where the point of destination is. Now, people have told me if you use left on the D-pad and you're flying down to the planet, when you get close to your marker, bang, it should give you the exact point, but... I'm not, I'm not, I still can't work out how you do that one. It's not working for me anyway. There you go. I've done a little scan as well. I think I'm going to be walking around on foot, people, to try and find wherever we've got to go to. Land to do your search. I'm trying right on the D-pad as well. I'm trying all sorts of things on D-pad. Nothing. All right, fine. Well, let's land. And uh, I, I guess I'm going to be walking around on foot to find this. Yeah, just like all the others. I mean, I have been lucky once or twice, haven't I? But no, this time, not so much and other times not so much how far away have we got to go it's well over a thousand years again people so you know what i get to the destination on foot and i reconvene again in a bit people okay something weird is happening though people you see down in the bottom right hand corner just below me yeah it says that i'm knackered and i can only sprint for like a second and then it's it's like scuppered i don't know what's going on there people that's never happened before it's like i'm in a constant state of being knackered 
And yeah, I can't run. I can't run. I don't know what's going on there, people, at all. There's nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, and that. It must have been because I was on some sort of wonky bit of mountain. Who freaking knows? But it's taken me blinking ages to just cover half the distance. And that's been going on for like the last 10 minutes. Budging heck. Well, okay, people. Yeah, you can see me sort of just sliding down this rock face. Holy fudge, there's a giant cave. All right, let's try and jump it. Okay, that's probably not the best idea I've ever had. Okay, cool. Well, we're good. We're good. We're fine. We've arrived, Dakoted. I've popped the badge. Lovely. Okay, well, let's head on over here then. Let's see what we can do. I mean, I'm not so keen on these Sentinel multi-tools. They look like little hand vacuum cleaners. And, and I'm not going to bother with that. Let's go straight over to the autophage. Hello there, autophage. How are you today? It's in pieces. It's in pieces. Here we go then. So what we've got. Um, pro damaged registers. Okay, mass puzzle. Four, ten, and fifteen. Four, ten, fifteen. Four, ten, fifteen. Four, ten, fifteen. Four, ten, fifteen. Okay, cool. Here we go then. Four, ten, fifteen. Four. Ten. Fifteen. Give me my bit of lore, my little autophage friend. There we go. Countless tiny servos begin to move. Arms gliding across magnets. The click and the whir of data coming to life. Sweet. No lore there. Shells consumed by fire. Mines banished to the glass. Forgotten, but not extinguished. Sweet. The data flows from the autophage, clean, clear, and easy to decipher. Another contract schematic. Cool. Lovely. I'm going to be building the legs. Ha ha! Hydraulic wiring. I've got some of them. What I don't got is a magnetic resonator. Fudge and blast. And I haven't got no lubricant either. Lubricant, if I remember rightly, we're going to have to go pick some bloody plants to make that stuff. All right. Okay. Well, we've spoke to the autophage. This could be a fun one. This could be a longer phase than normal. Righto, well let's pop that then. Come on, give us something lovely. Underwater oxygen upgrade. Why is he giving me that? Okay, got. Cool. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really into diving to be honest. Let's get to the next one then. Collect rewards. Okay, cool. What have we got there? Multi-tool gamma root. All right, fine. Expansion slot times two. And the schematic for legs. Nice. Okay, right. Well, let's get inside some cover for a second. Let's stop the hazard protection bars. Why don't I just walk through the freaking tent? All right, fine. Let's just call in my blinking ship before I lose my hazard protection. Yeah, land there. Thank you very much. I want to jump inside and we're going to have a quick look at how we go about getting some... Come on! In your own time! I'm freaking dying from radiation. Uh, Chernobyl in my freaking lungs. Okay, cool. Right, let's get inside the ship then. Right, so we've got those. That's all right. Um, I need to make lubricant. Yeah, I'm going to be making you, but I need to make the magnetic resonator as well. Have I got blueprints? For... I haven't even got blueprints for the magnetic res resonator, mate. Lubricant I have got the blueprint for. I need fecium. I've got some gamma root, but not enough. Okay, right. So fecium, if I create some uh, creature sticks. Okay, creature sticks. If I make some creature sticks... Lovely, lovely. Can I make creature pellets? Have I got the recipe? I have. Let's make a couple of them then. And let's go feed some creatures. We're on the wrong side of the planet to feed creatures, I think, because right now it's night time. Is there any creatures in near... For... There's flying creatures. Oh, what we got down here? Are they more flying creatures? They're... They are, aren't they? They freaking are. Yep, they are. All right, well, on this planet, have we got any land-based creatures? There's nine creatures. Flying, 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 flying. They're all freaking bloody flying. They're all flying creatures. No, we haven't got any land-based creatures on this planet. Okay, fungal mold planet. Lovely, charming. Gamma radioactive. We need to get some more gamma root, people. Now, I have actually... I'm going to go to the other gamma planet in this system. One, it hasn't got, like... A... I'm hoping it hasn't got horrible storms on that one. What's this one? Solarium. We're going to go to that one over there. The Lubricant City. Oh, look, someone's actually created a base called Lubricant City on there, as well as 15 other bases. All right, well, that's quite fine and dandy, isn't it? I'm not going to use the base, though, people. I'm just going to do this in the wilds. All right, so let's go. Right, so which what, what was the name of the planet? I didn't register the freaking name of the planet. Okay, so it's not the Omega one. It's this one over there. Let's go there. Brilliant. Flying up through the atmosphere. I'll see you on that other planet, people. 
Okay, well, I'm flying down to the daytime side of this planet. It looks like it's locked onto a base. I didn't really want to go to a base, but here we go. Let's fly on down just anywhere over here. Now, I'm hoping that there's going to be creatures on this planet. I've created some bait sticks. Basically, we're going to feed some creatures and wait around until they poo. Once they poo, they will give us a feceum. And that's feceum we can use. But as we're looking for creatures, we're also going to be looking for the indigenous plants, these gamma radioactive worlds, which is gamma root. Now, we have got the hazmat gloves. They were given to us as a perk as a mission reward in a previous badge so hopefully that'll be cool right so let's um let's fly on down let's see if we can spot some gamma root as we're flying over this planet there's some right there see those big yellow sort of daffodil looking critters that's them we're gonna go pick those let's go pick those boom land 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 dang you cool well this planet does look a little bit easier to navigate than the last one. The last one had lots of freaking mountains everywhere. This one's a bit flatter. Anyway, to get the gamma root, just go over to these giant daffodil type looking plants and hold down square. Lovely. Ooh, we only got given like 20. That means I've got to do like 10 of them to get the other 200 that I need. Alright, well fine. Ah, oh, great. There's bigger creatures over here though, people. Let's just uh, let's throw down some creature sticks quickly. Here you go, buddy. Eat up. Eat up. Come on. Come get some. All right, well, they should come to me now, anyway. Um, right. Oh, look, there's a little bipedal guy over there. Can we get him interested? In yeah, we got him interested, too. Right, well, why do they get interested and why they eat? Hopefully, if I pick some more of these, I'm doing two things at once then, aren't I? Well, there wasn't a great deal of gamma root there. You can see there they're sort of satiated. They've all gone sort of green now, people. But I've got to wait until they poo, which could take a little while. Oh, hello. You're really cute, isn't you? Yeah. yeah well, I'd say you're cute. Actually, looking at you a little bit here, just come to think of it. Anyway, you know what? I might um, adopt you as a companion. There you go. You're now my friend. Heck yes, you are. You're coming with me on my adventures, whether you like it or not, my little snazzy mate. All right, cool. Hello. Little cat creature. Lots of creatures around here now. Oh look, there's, a little, there's an even smaller one. Dang it, why did I get you? I wanted the cuter one. Alright, fine, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Cool. Um, righto. Uh, oh look, he's scanning already. Cool, go find me something lovely. Go on. Go to, oh, there we go. I found a poo. We've got some poo. I want the poo. Get out of the way. I'm trying to pick up your blinking poo. Ah, for fudge sake. I'm not get out of the way of that poo. There we go, we can have that one. Lovely, we've got some feciums. Oh, there's some more feciums. Oi. Up that yeah i want this one now the bigger the creature the bigger the poos they do um so i did feed a massive creature over this way didn't i is there any other poos over here what are you doing oh they've killed other creatures that doesn't help uh i don't know where that big guy went but he he would have done a massive turd all right well we'll have we'll have this anyway boom Oh, there he is. He's over there. I, didn't, I haven't seen him poo yet, though. Uh, yeah. Have that. Any more for any more? Any more poos anywhere? Sometimes it gives the poo icons and they're really easy to spot. And other times, not so much. Pow. We've got that one. Any more poo down here? Come on. I'm looking for poo. I know, this is what my blinking... Yeah, this is my day now, isn't it? Fun times. Alright, well, we've got some, anyway. We've got some. We've got my own little critter that's following me around. I've got all these lovely guys. Hmm. If I kill all these and get a load of Mordite, I can turn Mordite into poo, can't I? I think I can. Yeah, let's just kill them. Oh, no! Oh, I, 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 was only, I was only thinking about it. It hasn't happened yet. There you go. Freaking die. Have that. Boom. Yeah, you can have some as well, my friend. Oh, great. Just run out. Freaking have it. In the face. Yeah, there we go. You're dead as well. Lovely. Boom. Boom. You're dead. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's, um... <laughs> <laughs> we got launched. Okay, well, we've got a load of Mordite now. So if I go to my exosuit and grab all that lovely, lovely Mordite... Oh, well, only 79 of it for all that murder. You're having a laugh. That should turn into Feceum anyway, so we get a load of Feceum that way. 
Cool. I mean, you probably do get more from picking it up off of the creatures rather than murdering them. There we go. I've got a load of Fecium now, hopefully. How much Fecium do I actually have? I have a hundred. Is that it? A hundred Fecium from all that feeding and all that pick... You're having a laugh, mate. All right, well, can I even craft the lubricant now? I don't think I've got enough on the old... Uh, re Fudging... Press the bloody thing! Okay, there we go. Uh, no, we're short by 100. 100 gamma roots we're short of. All right, well, what we're looking for is a sort of icon like that. You see that area of corn over there? Uh, but it, hopefully it's going to point to gamma root. Gamma, gamma, gamma root. Gamma, gamma, gamma root. Where are you, gamma root? Okay, are you gamma root? Gamma weed. 500 use that way all right well we're going that way to get our next bit of gamma weed and hopefully we can create the, the lubricant which i thought was going to be the hardest ingredient it's not all that difficult to be honest is it it's all right it's not too bad i think it's the next step up you can use that to make like acid and i think you need like fungal mold and stuff to make that as well all right well let's head on over the yonder hill so maybe the hardest bit for me is going to be the magnetic resonator yeah, to get the blueprint for that, you can either go into uh, manufacturing facilities or go up to the Nexus. I don't know whether I can call in the Nexus. I haven't bothered trying this whole freaking time I've been playing. So maybe that might be a thing in a bit, but we shall see. Let's head over this hill, and hopefully we're going to have our gamma weed just over yonder hill. Pick that up. Lovely jobs, and hopefully I can make my gamma weed. And not gamma weed, my lubricants. Come on, run! Freaking run! Uh... Oh, look! A frigate just spawned in. I love it when that happens. It looks so awesome, doesn't it? Low-orbit frigate. Okay, well, let's hopefully get enough, then. Here we are. Pick that. No, don't interact with my pet. I'm going to put the pet away. Pets, as, as fun as they are, they're a bloody... Oh, pain in the neck. Okay, go away. There we are. They run in front of you just as you're about to pick something up and then you interact with them and you end up petting them and feeding them and all sorts of other interactions that you have with them. Fun times. There we go. Got a load of that then. As I, have I hit 100 of it yet? I think I've just got 66 of it. Have I got to go find another blinking patch of that stuff? Hopefully not. All right, let's, let's see. Oh, no, I've got 440. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's create that lubricant then. Chikapow. Done. I only need one more ingredient set now, which is the magnetic resonator. Magnetic resonator is all I need. What the flying fuck? I just got hit by a flying frigate. You freaking moron. Fly higher. Okay, that's um, that's a first. That's never happened before. All right, nice. Um, yeah, that, that, that left me a bit shell-shocked. Right, anyhow, let's head on up and let's see if we can go to the Nexus. Let's see if we can just get the blueprint for the magnetic resonator and I'll see if I can crafticate it. I've got some I've got some salvage data on me. I've got nanites on me. So it's going to be one of those two things, I would imagine, to unlock it inside the Nexus. That's if we can even call in the Nexus. Like, like I say, I haven't tried, so we give it a go. If not, we can fly on over to the station and just hope and pray that either a trader flying in or the Galactic Trade Terminal sells them. Sadly, I was at an archive um, you know, earlier inside the play, and there were magnetic resonators for sale, and I didn't buy one. I bought the hydraulic squirrel leg type looking things, but no, I didn't buy a magnetic resonator. Right, well, let's fly on up, and let's see if we can get the blueprint inside the old Nexus, firstly. Oh, the Nexus is there. It is a thing. Now, a lot of people, what they tend to do is if they've run previous expeditions and they've got expedition rewards, they claim all of the ships, they claim all the multi-tools that they can, they either scrap them or break down components, move components from one to the other, and do all sorts of other wondrous stuff. Oh, and I've had a few people now inside of um, my comments telling me to just create this, just create that inside of, inside of your multi-tool and get a massive boost rather than try to deconstruct it from the other multi-tool, just actually build it. And apparently, your um, laser then doesn't run out. So that's another little tip there. Anyways, we're inside of the old Nexus, the Nexarino. Let's run up here and let's go and have a look, see if we can get the blueprint for the magnetic resonator. Hello there, your imposter, Ariadne. I'm hoping that we get some more lore around Ariadne, because that summer lore of, like, 2021 was a bit of an oddity, wasn't it? Anyway, let's run over here. I digress. Let's hit this one up. Kaboom! 
Okay, magnetic resonator, there it is. It costs 250 nanites to learn the recipe. We're gonna learn that recipe, and we need some more magnetized ferrite. Okay, well I think I might have some ferrite dust on my person. I do. Let's put that into us there. Chicka boom. And that's now on the bake. That's 100% baked. And we can take the pure ferrite out. Hope yes we can. Was it magnetized ferrite that I need? Sorry people. It is. It's the magnetized kind. Okay, well I've got a load of pure ferrite mate. On me. So pure ferrite. Pure, pure ferrite. 95. Even if it's 2 to 1 that should give me enough. 47. We're quids in. Heck yes! Nice! So it's can take 8 seconds. This is pretty good stuff. On the bake. Heck yes. And hopefully that, that's everything I need then to do what I need to do. Kaboom. I mean you could if you wanted to if you haven't got those sort of like robotic squirrel legs that I told you to buy these things hydraulic wiring you could also get that recipe and look it's only salt and carbon nanotubes carbon nanotubes and salt I guess you could get that recipe too while you're here people anyways I've only got to do the one so let's press on on hit this up and we'll make that which then means I can make the legs boom hold on I need two lubricants. You're having a freaking Jeffrey, mate. Seriously? Oh, fudge and heck. What? I'm going to go pick a load more gamma. You know what? I can't be arsed with all of that squirreling around. So I'm going to use that same method that I showed you the other day using the um, portable refiners. However, I need to go land on a planet to do that. You can't do it inside of an old Nexus. Heck no, you can't. All right, fine. Well, I'm going to run down here then. Darn it! didn't read two I thought I only needed one but that's a lot of picking of gamma root isn't it people I'm gonna show you how to save yourself that unnecessary yes I'm gonna fly down to a planet and I'm gonna have a little little bit of a play I'm just gonna land on the nearest blinking planet this one would do right let's go down we go now I don't care that it's night time just don't hopefully it's not over an ocean which doesn't look like it is right oh I'll see you in a second chums I've got a frog in the throat Okay, right, just landing upon this planet. Yes, my dulcet tens are back. I don't say dulcet, I'm not from that area of the world. Right, let's head on over this way and let's hit up this. Boom! Boom! I've got this, this big oxygen patch right here. Might as well grab it while we're here, might we, people? Might as well get a shed load of oxygen. We love the stuff, I guess. It's the stuff of life, quite literally. All right, um, pick up some more. All right, well, that's just got tedious. Boom, boom, boom. Boom and boom. Okay, right, fine. There we are. That do for oxygen. Right. Anyway, back to doing my little tip of um, we're going to glitch in a load of more lubricant. So what I need to do is put down one of my portable refiners. Chica pow. Go over to said portable refiner. Lovely. Grab my lubricant. Where are we? where are you, lubricant? Lubricant, lubricant. Where are the? There you are. Put that in there. Lovely, jubbly. Now what I want to do is put another one of these refiners over the top of it. Alright, like so. Kapow. Now I'm just going to pick up the two. I'm not going to be greedy and get more than I need. There you are. And there you go, I've now got two lubricants. Done and dusted. <laughs> go down here, boom, and uh, I can now create the legs. Done. Right, well that saved me picking up a load of gamma plants. If you want to do it the correct way, do it the correct way. I just, I'm just showing you a way to do it to save time. I'm going to put that inside my starship as well, because I've now got all my parts in here. Lovely jubbly. Piddly pokey. Life is good. Right, okay, well that's made. Oh look, I think we can now do one of the encrypted ones. Alright, well let's have a look, see. Let's see what that encrypted one is, shall we people? Let's go over to the expedition tab. Let's hit up this. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's just claim this for a second. Minotaur Geo Bay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Cool. I do like the Minotaur. It is one of my favourite exo, exo crafts, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Right, well, now what's this one, then? So it has unlocked. Communion with the Atlas. So we could do them in order, but what is this one? I'm quite... Divergence Cube. Follow Nada's lead. Okay, well, we'll go commune with the Atlas first, I guess. We might as well do them in order, mightn't we? Mightn't we? Might as well. Okay, well, let's uh, fly on up. I'm quite interested to go and do that encrypted one. Why is it not saying... Hold on. Look below. Look below right now. It says consult priest entity Nada before before proceeding to the Atlas. Complete Grand Divergence milestone. The one that just unencrypted itself. 
So we've got to do this one before that one will work. It's not in order. All right, fine. So let's hit this one up then. Coolio. And what are we doing then? Oh, we've got to go in the space anomaly, the place where I just was. <laughs> Dang it. If only I would have made two bloody lubricants. Yeah, that's on me, people. Well, let's fly on in. I'm fairly sure other people would have done the same. Anyway, let's uh, have a little sip of tea and I'll show you where to find Nada, just in case this is your first time coming into the old space anomaly. Quite a good cup of tea. Now you can just fly in through that window on the middle floor there and you'll find Nada there. But I'm going to go up the side ramp and uh, show you the long way around. Yeah, you can just use your jetpack, fly up there. We've got enough mo movement modules. I imagine all of you guys have. You can see there's a marker where we've got to go. You see, just fly up onto that balcony if you really wanted to, people. Run out of sprint. Right, let's go this way then. And up here, round here. And then when you get to this moving arm, you just take a right. And he's this guy over here with the really gnarly cape. Hello, mate. How are you? Oh, yeah, you're good, are you? He looks like something out of Daft Punk. I love his armor set. Don't know why they haven't given the, the armor set as a choice inside the appearance modifier through, you know, Quicksilver or something. You know something, Traveller Entity. You know many things. Things Nada chooses not to know. Yes, yes. Like Smurfette is an imposter. Gargamel made her. She's not a real Smurf. Yes, but the patterns in your mind now, Nada things we may share. Oh, okay. What? Bad Smurfette? <laughs> no, he's on about the construct. Traveller Entity wishes to know if this is life. Nada thinks, what is life, Traveller Entity? What is life? Baby, don't hurt me. Which entity knows? Only one. And Nada will not approach this strange reg convergence. But glass, void abyss, alanted. All words to fill a gap in understanding. A gap we may both approach. Take these fragments of Aladiantiums, reveal it to the old places, then we shall see. Is it first, is it last, or is it something other? Well, thank you, Nada. This ritual, if it reveals a mind, a traveller entity, they would need a home. They need others. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be bringing them into the fold, aren't we? All right, cool. Right, there we go. Mission target is in another system. Find it with the galactic map. Grand Divergence. Is this still part of the same mission arc on this one? Yes, because I haven't actually finished it yet. It's it's a two-parter, people. Not just talk to Nada. He's sending us on a freaking jaunt across the universe. All right, jaunt be had. Let's go. Boom. Sweet. I'm just checking the record times. So yeah, it is going cool. Right, I'm flying out, and let's uh, bring up the old galactic maps. Uh, not yet. Let's get away from the Nexus a little bit. Fly forwards! Go on, pulse then for a second, just to get a bit of distance. There we are. Now Galactic Mapper Kate. Current mission, lovely. Alright, well it's right freaking next door. There it is. Let's go. Naja's Ritual Site. Naja's Ritual Site. Lovely. Have some more tea. It's a lovely breakfast tea. Now this one, admittedly, is from a tea bag. I am getting my own brew of tea made, a captain's a brew. Yes, I've approached a tea maker, a tea connoisseur, to see if I can get some for all of you guys and the view of us. That is if I like it. I've got some test samples coming through. I'm going to try all the test samples and go for the one that I think suits the captain's brew the most. I don't want to save you. I'm not going to save you. Oh, for fudge sake, do I have to save them before I get my mission marker? No, there's the mission marker. Sod you, I'm off. Yeah, help help yourselves. I, I'm not bothered. I'm taking the I'm taking the easy route out of this one. Stop shooting at me! Budge off! Okay. Alright, well I've got to get away from them. I'm trying to get away from them, it's not freaking happening. And uh, my ship is too slow to get away. It's also not got a great repertoire of weapons to take on six bloody pirates, and I can't be asked. Come on! Freaking go! Freaking go! Freaking go! Freaking go! Well that's not helping. Shouting at the screen does nothing. We've worked that one out. Oh, for fudge sake! I hate these freaking freighter battles and freighter interactions. Look, I don't want to help you. I've made my decision. Now fudge off! It doesn't happen, people. You just... I'll you... oh, fudge it. All right, fine. I'm going to just get destroy these pirates. I'll be right back with you, people. Otherwise, we're going to be here all freaking day. Right, well, I killed the pirates, and I'm not bothered about getting the freaking freighter. I killed two. Killed two of the pirates. You can see below, I killed two. That was They were the ones that were giving chase. Got rid of them. I managed to escape. So here we go. Let's head on down to Nada's ritual site. I'll see you down there, people. 
Okay, well, we're arrived, Cajun, and there seems to be a base in close proximity. I wonder if that's the ritual site right by that base. Yeah, let's have a little look, see. Um, but we're flying on down. Outpost 01. Oh, look, there's some comms balls that appeared. Comms balls. Yeah, there could be a there could be an indication of where I've got to land. Let's see if we can see any sort of large. Oh, look, that looks like a ritual site to me. And there's a shed load of comms balls there. Let's go and land there then. Let's have a little better look with our eye people, shall we, people? Heck yeah, so this has got to be it. Let's just jump out the ship here. Hopefully this is it. Boom. Lovely, lovely. That's a lot of comms balls. It really is, isn't it? Okay, head on over. Sweet. Oh, look at this. It's all purple. All right, fine. Hold on. What the fudge? Well, that's different. That's a... No. Okay, all right. Well, that is very different. What the fudge am I supposed to do here? All right, put some latiantiums in it. This is different. I've never seen this at a freaking monolith before, people. I wonder if this is gonna come into game. I wonder if this is gonna be the way that we get ourselves into the realm of glass or something. What the actual fudge has just happened. Localized, uh, okay, all right, fine. The ritual is complete. Witness before the monolith. All right, okay, let's go witness before the monolith. Let's do this. We love casting spells. Space wizards. We're all space wizards. Heck yes. I hear the distant voices of the Korvax entities who once worshipped here. And yet there is another voice. Distant. Unmistaking. Uh, unmistakable. Growing ever louder. As it resonates, words written in my own language glow faintly on the monument. What is a shell but a vessel of silicon glass or metal? A crystal or a planet? They shall awaken from the void. They all awaken in response, in unison, against deletion. And all those bits of text, the hex codes in between, that spells out own convergence. Okay? Pretty cool. She will see us, her children. Fudge and heck. She. That's got to be the void mother. So I wonder if the Void Mother is going to be some sort of metallic -y type thing. The seed is an echo of life, the last rever reverberations of a living being. The seed was revealed in a vision granted by Nada's ritual at the monolith infused with adelantiums. Okay, cool. There's quite a lot to go into here, people. There's there's a lot of lorey type stuff. I'm going to do a lore deep dive at some point, peeps, after I finish this um, expedition. Heck yes. I also want to do a review of this one too. Okay, well let's jump on into here. And not just a review of this, but a review of all the stuff on the lead up to this actually popping and whatnot. Okay, I think my, um, I think, I, I don't think I've got enough storage space. Oh, I have. Okay, cool. Divergence cube and tainted metals. They give me tainted metals. Nice. Look at the colour on these planet. That looks cool, doesn't it? It really does with all the purple coming through it as well. That does look pretty majestic. Alright, well that one's done. Now can I go see... I think I can go see the old atlas now. Yes, we can. Look, the mission below me is showing. Yes, follow the um, galactic path thingy. All right, well, let's go do that. Let's follow the path thingy. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Yeah, it's kind of a yellow line, isn't it? Or is it green? Who freaking knows, mate? Anyway, we're on our way. Pow! Okay, people. Hopefully this is going to be one of the last sort of at the stations that we're going in. I mean, actually, we've got phase five yet to do. This is only phase phase four, isn't it? Let's go on in and let's go and see the old Atlas. Getting quite familiar with the Atlas now. I mean, this is the fourth one we've gone to inside of this expedition, which is is kind of nice. The only thing is, is inside of these Atlas stations, there's only four landing pads. Now, if you've got multiplayer on, and there's four or five other people in the system, and there's four people inside of the Atlas, you just, you just hit the front door, bang, 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 you can't go in. And it almost feels like there's a bug, but it is, it's not a bug. It, it's by design. There's only four freaking landing pads in here. So if you can't get inside the Nexus, that's why. Turn off your multiplayer. Turn off your multiplayer, people. I turn off the multiplayer anyway. Because, you know, if there's a crash sentinel ship or there's a sentinel multi-tool and somebody else beats you to it and they half-inch it, it's not yours anymore. You can't grab it. Anyway, I'm going to grab these and get some more warp fuel. We're having them. Exactly. And, and those, you know, if it was multiplayer on, somebody else would have half-inched them. You wouldn't get them. Anyway, let's go and talk to the old Atlas. Hello there, mate. How are you? 
Nada believes their simulation offers insight into the construct. They pin their hopes on faint traces of manufactured minds echoing around an artificial reality. Present the parts. There you go, mate. Nada, divergent Nada, Nada standing alone. Nada will say they awoke with the destruction of Korvax Prime. Did he not? And that's what I bought. Nada will say they're happy in their small convergence aboard the anomaly. Nada will condemn the Atlas. Falsity as a heretic amongst the Korvax. Ooh. Nada will plant echo seeds for their simulation. The Atlas will have me forge seeds of their own. It's all the same cycle. Yes. Didn't look at it that way, but yeah, I do see it now. Magnetized ferrite. We, we can do that. We can do it right now. We can freaking do it, mate. We can do it. We can do it. We can do that one. Heck yes. Let's go straight into here. If you haven't got magnetized ferrite, you should know how to get it by now because we've done it a few times. Done dilly and done, but it's just ferrite into pure ferrite and then pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. You can do that in your refiner, mate. All right, cool. Well, we've done that too. Is that two bad pops in one? I think it freaking is, mate. Heck yes. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we've got enough room to claim all of this. I don't think I have. Ooh, runaway mold. Okay, we can throw the runaway mold straight into my uh, refiner, into nanites, if we really wanted to, people. If I do need to make some more space. Go back into the expedition screen. I want to claim the next one. Oh, we've already claimed that. All right. Complete the schematic. Ah, okay. And we've, we've got one more encrypted one to go. Oh, we'll collect, collect, let's collect the, um, the rewards over there as well. Yeah, I've already done it. Already done. Done. Yeah, I'm like six steps ahead of you, mate. There we are. Um, back into here. So we're doing this one now. On the space anomaly. Okay, fine. Going on the space anomaly. And da 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 da. Bring the Echo Seas to pre entity Nada. Yet to go. We're heading over to see good old Nadas. Alright, let's go see Nada then. Lovely. Jarblue. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'll, the old one's out. Cool. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go straight into the. How, how close could I get the Yaki? Yeah, you can get the Space Anomaly quite close to the uh, Atlas Station. Pretty darn sweet. We're flying to there as well then. Cool. I still haven't had a bloody good look at my ship, you know. It, it's not a bad looking ship. Oh, I can't look at it now. It's not a bad looking ship, this, is it? It's alright, as far as ships go. Yeah, it's alright. Look at that. That's okay. Like a little dorsal fin on it. It looks okay. I think I've done all right with my ship spawn. Hopefully you guys lucky. We've got lucky with your ship spawn. It's even my logo colours, which is nice. Right, well, we've got to go see Prince, Priest Entity Nada. I'm going to take the shortcut this time, people. Now, if your jetpack isn't too good, you can jetpack up onto this cube first, like so. Boom. Wait for your jetpack to sort of recharge and then jump again. There you go. Shortcut initiated. Hello, you didn't expect me to come through your window, did you? No. How are you? All right. Was it first, Traveller Entity? Was it last? Or was it other? I'm going to say... There you are. Have the seed. You can work it out yourself, mate. All entities deserve their convergence. Traveller Entity. Corvax Construct Nada Traveller Glass. Okay, you're just throwing up random words, aren't you? Is that how you roll now, is it? Okay, fine. Minds seek minds. Many do not see it. But Nada sees it. Sees the pattern. Stretch across all realities. Well, good for you, Nada. Nada ponders the Echo Seed, this fragile receptacle, the fragment of a mind lost to time. Our home is a lifeboat, Traveller Entity. Nada will welcome one more. Yeah, well, yeah I, guess, I guess the Nexus is some kind of lifeboat, isn't it? Take these things, Construct and Seed, to Polo. They will know what to do. Okay, Polo, this little gecky chap over here. Alright, fine. Hello, mate. What do I do with these seeds? You've been busy, Traveller Friend. You may have made your own construct, friend. Heck yes, I have. Ah, but they are pieces. Well, that is no problem. I have built with far worse. Fine pieces will make a fine new friend, yes? Yeah, okay, do it. Polo scans the plans I acquired for the construct. They turn the pieces over in their hands and in their mind. The Gek appears lost in thought. They will need a little time to assemble the construct echoes and seeds a new home. I should return later. Huh. Oh, great. I've got ten minutes. Ten minutes, people, inside of here before I can do anything. All right. Uh, so I've got to wait ten minutes. Okay. Um, fine. And that one is still there as well. So we're still on phase four. And we've got to wait ten minutes. All right, people. Well, for you guys, ten minutes is going to go super damn quick because I've got the power of editing on a button press. I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea. 
and I'm going to come back up and I'll reconvene with you in 10 minutes time. See you in a bit. Okay, chums, well, I think I've spotted something I can do while I'm waiting. Inside of my exosuit, I've got some of those exosuit expansion slots. Now, if you run down here, there is actually another point where you can expand your actual exosuit storage capacity. You go over to this jam jar type thing over here, hit this up, and we can just get ourselves one anyway, boom. Then we can hit it again, and we can use it to expand using those modules. There you go, two of... Two of Three and one more. There we go. Go. Done. All right. Cool. And do I have one for ship as well? I know it's for the multi-tool. So if I run round to this side, I should. Ah, we haven't got a console for the multi-tool people inside of here. I don't think you can upgrade it using this. I think it just lets you take the multi-tool that's in there. Yeah. So you do have to go to a station for that one, sadly. But there we go. That's something you can do. That spends a little bit of time. Um, yeah, I haven't made myself a new cup of tea yet. How much time's remaining? Four minutes. That's probably enough time to go make a tea. I'll be right back. Well, chums, I've made myself a cup of tea. It's a little bit hot. I'll leave it there. Let's go and speak to Nada. It looks like, not Nada, it looks like Polo. I'm going to speak to Polo. It looks like that time gate is over. Let's go and speak to him. Hello, my little Kermit type looking friend. How are you? Cool. Right, here we are. I have been busy too, traveller friend, but now it is done. You'd want to visit them, yes? Do not be shy, traveller friend. Go see our new friend. Okay. Right. Um, is this inside the Nexus? I think it is. Let's go up here. It's heading me over towards Tethys. Alright, fine. Hold on, is this what you just built? Out of all those bits that I get? Oh my days, that's freaking hideous. Okay, alright, let's let's talk to this thing then. Okay, boom. Hello. Okay. Minor Simulation Branch 19 Idol. Vessel awaiting input. There you go, have the echo seed, mate. Uh, okay. Registering sentience. Echo to local car pace. Okay, cool. Brilliant. And it's coming up with loads of like little doohickey bits there. More Cody type stuff. Lovely jobs. Alright, come on then. Oh, yep. Yeah, more of that. Okay, cool. Echo lock secured. Rejection. Event detected. Now, oh, come on. I've gone through freaking hell and back to give you this. All right, cool. <clears throat> Car pace stabilized. Inter installation process will secede control to local thread. Okay. Lost, 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 lost. Where, 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 who, 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 shell, lost. Others. Hmm. The assemble construct repeats these same few words in an endless loop. I cannot tell if this is pain, confusion, surprise, or just the random echoes of a much decayed data packet. Could be a bit of everything, mate. But look, he hasn't even got hands. He's got freaking... Oh my days, what have we created? It's a monster. Nada will know. Leave. All right, well, let's go and speak to Nada then. Let's see if I can just um, leg it over this way then. Meow. Have we got enough jetpack to do that? I guess I do. Ha 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 ha! Back through your window there, Nada, mate. How are you, sir? All right, rebirth is a challenging traveller entity, but do not worry. The Echo Construct will adjust to its new shell, given time. We will help them. But traveller entity, they are lonely, Nada. I can feel it. They do not feel at home in our anomaly, Ask Nada's plan. There will be others, traveller entity. Atlantium spills from the earth. Echoes call out to be saved. There must be others. Polo will save them from Nada. And Nada will help them live. Okay. All right. Well, this this sounds good. All right. Nada believes more Echo Seeds exist. Speak with Polo about recovery method. Well, hold on. I've got a badge to pop, mate. I'm going to have this anyway. I'm going to have that away. Stasis device. I can sell that for a lot of freaking units. Rusted metal as well. All right. Cool. Well, the rusted metal we can turn into ferrite dust. Hello there, mate. Um... Yeah, what can I do for you, sir? Let's have a look, see. Nada hopes to save more Echo friends, I know. They have always been ever so generous, traveller friend. And so now, and you, I will help dear Nada. All right, okay. Take this and go where I cannot. You will find many more Echoes. Except Schematic. So many lost seeds, so many new friends for our little home. Okay, cool. Resonance Amplifier, this is new. 
an attachment for the multi-tool scanner designed by specialist Apollo for the detection of Atlantium-infused sentience echoes on distant worlds, using an analysis visor L2 to locate sentience echoes on arrival to an echo site, use L3 to fully reveal nearby anomalies. Oh, so this must be the thing in the trailer that pulsed and the crystals appeared everywhere. Oh, I like. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's get that installed inside of our multi-tool then, shall we, people? There we go. Yeah, I've already got all the ingredients. Chicka pow, chicka boom, and done. Heck yes. I don't know where I got the Gravitino ball. It must have been a reward for one of the badges. So yeah, keep your Gravitino balls as well there, people. Done. Well, we've got that installed. Is, is, is that popped to the badge? Is that, is that pretty much what I had to do? Nope. We've got to locate our first echo. Okay, let's go do that then. Sweet. I guess I've got to do that on a... It did pop up for a brief second in the bottom corner there. Okay, galactic map. We've got to go to the galactic map. Fine. All right, well, let's fly on out. Let's get to the galactic map and let's go to our first echo site location. This is getting good. I'm actually enjoying this. This is pretty cool. I mean, yes, we've had to go to the Atlas a lot of the times, but let's face it, the lore was pretty cool. Doing the phage and the math problems, that's a bit tedious, but at the same time, it's still different to anything that we've done before. So, you know what? I'm pretty fine with this. Hold on. Uh, it says here, scan worlds from space, L3. Okay, we've just got to find a dissonant planet. There's apparently, there might be one inside of this system, people. So we could be okay. We could be on for a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, rusted metal, high sentence activity, life incompatible planet. Not that one, then. How about you, mate? Are you that one? High sentinel activity? No. What about you? Unknown moon. Dissonant detected. Yes! Let's go there. We're going, we're going there. It's a cabled moon, so it's one of those exotic planets as well, peeps, which are pretty darn freaking cool for planets, aren't they? Let's go and find our dissonant echo type thing. Okay, it's locked onto a base. Ah! Fudging heck, where'd you come from? All right, here we are. Let's talk to this then. So, yeah, again, all this hex code translation-y stuff, I've got a video. Go hit that one. It gives you all the translations. It's pretty darn sweet. Okay, I've done it as creepy as possible, so just be warned. It's a little bit horror-like, yeah. I've done it in sort of like a robot pinhead from Hellraiser type voice. It's um, a little bit disturbing. Blow up! Yeah, give me all of your lovely atomantiums or whatever. There we go. Cool. The seed of an echo of life. Reverberates in a living being. The seed was revealed. Vis Hold on. Why is it done? Echo seed. Ra oh. Okay. Um. I honestly thought we would be scanning on the planet and finding crystals. Have I just popped the last badge? Is that what? Is that? No. Okay. What would you be that looked like what I needed to get. That looked like an echo seed. Okay. Bring the seed to Nada. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I think I've done it. Is that okay? That was a little bit weird, and we're not going to lie. That was strange. All right, fine. Let's uh, let's go in here then, because I, I I kind of bring the echo seed. Yeah, I didn't have to do it on the planet. It wasn't what I thought then. It's not the thing from the trailer. It was blowing up that thing in space that gave me it. Don't ignore that then, people. Shoot the shite out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been blowing them up every time I've seen one, but apparently that was the mission. Well, that wasn't all too clear, was it? No. All right, fine. I'd imagine a few people got scuppered by that one. Oh, I nearly did. I, I was going to carry on down to the planet for a second there, people, but no. Read the mission brief. It says take it back to Priest Entity Nada. Right, I'm going to try and rocket pack. Rocket man! Da -da 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 -da. Here I am. The rocket man. There you go. I've got it, mate. Oh, what the fudge happened there? Nada welcomes the all lost entities to our small convergence, and Polo's echo construct is a fine vessel. But all these echoes, it may be challenging. We should consider another way to home them. All right, well, okay, fine. Nada pauses. They're clearly torn. There is another way. Nada will plant your seed in a sacred place. This sounds a bit kinky. Go for it. The Prime Terminal is a re re relic of Nada's former self. A safe refuge. Hold on. The Prime Terminal is a relic of Nada's former self. A safe refuge. A home for echoes. The seed may blossom or it may not. It may need others. We shall try. It's right to try, Traveller Entity. 
may plant their seed. Uh, righty then. Have I got to go back to that strange robot? No, the marker is heading me over to where we placed Artemis in the Artemis quest line. Hmm, okay, all right, fine. We'll go put it in there then, I guess. But this is like a simulation inside of a simulation, is it not? I think it is. I would have thought we would have birthed them into robots a bit like that one over by Tephus. But okay. Nada Entity, Entity Authorization, similar, Secondary Simulation 19, Right Enabled. Okay, there you go, have that. Secondary Simulation, Activate 99% of Available Reality Threads. Void, voided Echo Packet Received, Collection Network, Sentience Threshold 1.6%. Okay. Echo Collective module synthesized. Use module for remote sentience monitoring. And we've got Echo Collective. A shift in vortex of Atalantium attuned to the growing collective will be housed inside of Nada's prime terminal. Current threshold is question mark. Okay. The grains oscillate patterns. Okay. But fine. Fine. We've got our last badge. Sweet. Rescued another Echo. That's quite a cool badge. Oh, let's go and um, let's go pop that badge then. Chicka boom! Sweet! Emergency signal scanner. Supreme scanning system upgrade. What the? What did you? What did you just give me? Oh, okay, just a scanner module. Fine. An emergency signal scanner. Interesting. Okay. Fine. And we can pop the last of the expedition badges. Well, you know, for phase four. Wayfarer's Helm customization. Oh heck yes! I'm gonna go stick that on right now, mate. Heck yes, I am. Let's go put that on. Lovely, lovely. Well, there is actually an appearance modifier at the opposite side of this old Nexus. Let's head on through here. Leg on down and let's go see if we can stick that on. All right, come on, go on. Run like the wind. Run, Stevie, run. Okay, here we go. Boom. Appearance modifier. Oh, yes, I'm holding square. Frickin' work, dang you. Head. Alright. Where Pharaoh's head? Is that it? No. Horrific flesh head iteration. Uh, iteration Omega. Have I got to change my race to Traveller or something? No, Anomaly. Uh, we've got to be Anomaly. There we go. Oh, it changed all my bloody suit. Dang you. Alright, well, I'm going to be in here for frickin' ages now. Where Pharaoh's helm. There we go. Alright, people. I'm just going to make myself look pretty. I'll be right back with you. Okay, people, there I go. I'm looking freaking snazzy now. Heck yes, I am. There we go. Done, Dilly, and done. Heck yes, I've been run running around like this for phase five. Isn't that wonderful? Right, well, I better go jump in my ship, out of my ship to create a save, just to save my new look and feel, because that was freaking tedious. And my ship is all the way over there, even more tedium. Right, we're jumping out of my ship. That's created a save. Excellent. And then we'll be pressing on with phase five, which is the final phase. How many of these are freaking encrypted? That's encrypted. Optional milestone, optional milestone. There's two optional milestones here, people. And a load of other stuff here. Rebirth your mind. Okay, that's going to give six repair kits. That could help out with my multi-tool massively. Okay, and there's another encrypted one there. Commune with the Atlas. It looks like a little bit of the same again. Yeah, interesting people. All right, well, I'll see you for phase five soon, peeps. Take care. Bye, goodbye. And goodbye again.